Rocket Lab is a private American aerospace manufacturer and smallsat launcher with a wholly owned New Zealand subsidiary. It has developed a suborbital sounding rocket named Atia and currently operates a lightweight orbital rocket known as Electron, which provides dedicated launchers for small sats and CubeSats. The Electron test program began in May 2017, with commercial flights announced by the company to occur at a price listed in early 2018 as $5.7 million. Launching from Mahia Peninsula, New Zealand, the rocket's test flights took place on 25 May 2017 and 21 January 2018, while its first commercial flight took place on of November 2018. On December 16, Rocket Lab launched their first mission for NASA. The rocket contained 13 satellites for the Alana 19 mission. Topic: History. Rocket Lab was founded in 2006 by New Zealander Peter Beck, the company's CEO and CTO. Internet entrepreneur and fellow New Zealander Mark Rocket was the seed investor and co-director from 2007 to 2011. In 2009, Rocket Lab claimed it had become the first private company in the Southern Hemisphere to reach space with the ATIA-1 sounding rocket. The payload was not recovered. This was not deemed necessary. As an instrumentation dart, the payload was not powered, its trajectory depended only on the boost phase of flight. The boost stage was recovered, and did have flight telemetry, on which the claim of reaching space was based. In December 2010, Rocket Lab was awarded a U.S. government contract from the Operationally Responsive Space Office to study a low cost space launcher to place CubeSats into orbit. This agreement with NASA enables the company to use NASA resources such as personnel, facilities, and equipment for commercial launch efforts. Funding was obtained from Kostler Ventures in 2013, and Callahan Innovation and Bessemer Venture Partners in 2014. Lockheed Martin became a strategic investor in 2015, and Rocket Lab announced in March 2017 that it had raised an additional $75 million in a Series D equity round led by Data Collective with participation by Promise Ventures and several previous investors. In November 2018, the company reported raising a $140 million Series E round led by Future Fund. Topic. Launch vehicles ATIA The first launch of the ATIA space suborbital sounding rocket occurred in late 2009. The 6-meter long rocket weighing 60 kg was designed to carry a 2 kg payload to an altitude of 120 km. It was intended to carry scientific payloads or possibly personal items. ATIA-1 was successfully launched from Great Mercury Island near the Coromandel Peninsula on the 30th of November 2009 at 2:30 p.m. after fueling problems delayed the scheduled 7:10 a.m. liftoff. The rocket was tracked by GPS uplink to the Inmarsat B communications satellite, which permitted verification of payload apogee above the Carmorn line. It touched down approximately 50 km downrange. The payload had no telemetry downlink, but had instrumentation including the launch vehicle's uplink to Inmarsat. Payload was not required to be recovered, being only a dart, and the company advised that should it be encountered by vessels at sea, the payload should not be handled as it was potentially hazardous and contained delicate instruments. However, performance characteristics were completely determined by the boost stage, which did have downlink telemetry and was recovered. A second launch of ATIA-1 was not attempted. Topic. Electron Electron is a two-stage launch vehicle which uses Rocket Lab's Rutherford liquid engines on both stages. The vehicle is capable of delivering payloads of 150 kg to a 500 km sun-synchronous orbit, the target range for the growing small satellite market. 
The projected cost is less than $5 million per launch. The Rutherford engine uses pumps that are uniquely powered by battery powered electric motors rather than a gas generator, expander, or preburner. The engine is also fabricated largely by 3D printing, via electron beam melting, whereby layers of metal powder are melted in a high vacuum by an electron beam rather than a laser. By April 2016, the 22 kN second stage Rutherford engine had completed firing tests. The first test flight took place on 25 May 2017 at 4.20 Time from Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand's North Island. After reaching an altitude of about 224 kilometers (140 miles), the rocket was performing nominally, but telemetry was lost, so the decision to destroy it was made by range safety. On the 21st of January 2018, at 1:43 Coordinated Universal Time, their second rocket on a flight named Still Testing launched, reached orbit, and deployed three CubeSats for customers Planet Labs and Spire Global. The rocket also carried an additional satellite payload called Humanity Star, a 1 meter wide, 3 feet carbon fiber geodesic sphere made up of 65 panels that reflect the sun's light. Humanity Star re-entered Earth's atmosphere and burned up in March 2018. On the 11th of November 2018, the first commercial launch of Electron occurred from Mahia Peninsula carrying satellites for Spire Global, Geooptics, a CubeSat built by high school students, and a prototype of a drag sail. Topic: <laughs> Facilities. Factory In October 2018, Rocket Lab revealed their new manufacturing facility in Auckland, New Zealand. Launch Complex 1 After encountering difficulty in obtaining resource consent for the Kaiterete Spit launch site, Rocket Lab announced in November 2015 that its primary launch site would be on the Mahia Peninsula, east of Wairoa in the North Island, New Zealand. The site is licensed to launch rockets every 72 hours for 30 years. The Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 was officially opened on the 26th of September 2016 UTC, the 27th of September NZDT. Topic. Launch Complex 2 In order to increase their flight cadence, Rocket Lab searched for multiple launch sites. In October 2018, the company announced their selection of NASA Wallops Flight Facility as their second launch site. The site was chosen for its low number of launches from other companies, along with its ability to supplement orbital inclinations provided by LC-1. Topic. See also Firefly Aerospace Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport Newspace PLD Space Relativity Space Vector Launch <laughs>